Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. In this video, we are going to learn about Glide Seconds to Block. This block is the sixth block in motion block category and it is a tax type block, which means that this rectangular box is shaped fit above and below with other blocks like this. We can stack with any other category of block. What this block will do? This block moves a sprite with different speed from one place to another place in which direction it is facing. This block is opposite to this go to block in its movement. For example, this glide block will display animation in its movement but this go to block will not show any animation in its movement. So the movement animation means when we use this glide block, when the sprite is moving from one place to another place, we can see its movement, we can see its smooth movement easily. So again, this block sets a sprite's xy position to a specific position, not the coordinates. Specific position can be random position or mouse pointers position. If we add one more sprite to our project, the third option will be another sprite's position. So now let's try with each option for this block. So the default option for this block is random position and the number of seconds is 1. Okay, so if we run this block, this cat will move to a random position and we can see its movement animation as well. So I'll run this block, you can see, we can see the movement here, right? If we run it again, it is moving smoothly. Yes. But if we use this go to block, we can't see that moment animation. It will jump to another spot, right? Yes, I hope you could see the difference, right? Okay. Now, what is the seconds? How can we use it? Currently, the number of second is 1. So, the cat is moving in this particular speed. If I increase the second to number 3, Let's see how this cat is moving. Look at here, it is moving slowly. We can make it much slower than this by increasing the number of seconds. So if I put 6, let's see how is it moving. Look at here, the cat is moving very slowly. So higher the number of seconds, lower the speed of moving sprite. Okay. So if I use 0 0.5, the cat will move very fast because it is less than 1, right? It is half of 1. You can see it is moving really fast, right? That's it. Okay, so now let's look at the next option which is mouse pointer. Again, it is the same thing that it has worked for the previous block. So it tries to reach my mouse pointer but it is the edge so it is tagging here. Now let me put a forever block to this block so it will run always now so my mouse pointer is here now it's trying to reach it but for the go to block it was sticking to my mouse pointer for this it is trying to reach my mouse pointer i hope you can see the movement animation here right okay so that's it for this option so currently we have only one sprite in our project i'm going to add one more sprite from the sprite library this banana so now this cat will try to reach this banana's position by gliding from this point to this particular position. So now if you click on this option, one more option is that which is banana. So when we use this banana option, this cat will try to reach that banana sprite's position. So if I run this block, you can see it has reached the banana's position. Now if we put it here and go to sprite and run it, now it has reached the banana. So this is how this glide seconds to block will work differently for these three options. And that's it about this video. If you have any question, please put it in the comment box below. I'm happy to answer. And if you're new here, please be sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you everyone.